Hello everyone, Chance here. This is going to be a Dead Rising 3 first impressions video. This will not be a full review, so keep that in mind. So I might sound ignorant at times, and I'm pretty much just going to discuss new features and new things in the game that I found, and pretty much my all-around first impressions of this game. I'm going to be doing a lot of comparisons from Dead Rising 1 and Dead Rising 2, just to compare it with Dead Rising 3, but look at this. Holy shit. Look at all those zombies, and just look at the way, like, the sun hits the cement and everything. It's just, like, graphically, this game has been improved a lot. Not including that it's on the next generation, of course, but just every game I've seen from Capcom, not to bash them, it's just every game is very animated. There's not a lot of, uh, defined looks to it, not a lot of definition to everything, not too much texture, just pretty much just animated to the fullest. And that's alright to me, but one thing I love about Dead Rising 3 right off the bat is it was very defined... Well, what I consider very defined, and it's just like in faces, you can see more cracks, uh, more cuts on the faces and stuff, opposed from just like normal facial hair you would see on like Dead Rising 2 or the first one. But that's not the only thing I've noticed right off the bat. Uh, pretty much this whole video, I guess, my first impressions is going to be a lot of things I saw improvement on. Like right now, you can see me crafting weapon just right there from all the weapons I have built. You don't have to find a construction table anymore, which is very handy because in Dead Rising 2, I honestly wouldn't craft anything because I wouldn't care to. It's just like I didn't want to go find a crafting table and do it. Like what's cool about the interface uh, doing it right then and there if you have the weapons on you is you can just do it. And that what drives people to actually want to go find other weapons because who wants to get all the weapons you have and then have to find a crafting table no one wants that and as you can see now I'm running over zombies this pretty much is just gonna be like a little mini Taj of just clips that I thought were like cool and improvements on and as you can see like the cars and everything look so more defined and the zombies hang on to your windows and if you get too many on they'll actually try to drag you out of your window and then you have to either press like X if you're on the Xbox one or square or something or shake your controller and it'll punch them off and little things like that keep you on your toes because like sometimes they'll say X and you're like oh fuck trying to hit X and then other times they'll say shake your controller and it's just little bugs like that in the game that keep your eyes appealing and just little eye candies and stuff I feel are great little add-ons to the game because they'll keep you on your toes and as you can see now the game's still very very gruesome I felt from the step from Dead Rising to Dead Rising 2 I actually felt Dead Rising 2 wasn't as gory as Dead Rising 1 but I actually feel Dead Rising 3 is a little step up from Dead Rising 2, just a little bit more gory. And as you can see, the blood's more dark red, it's more uh, brutal -er looking. I felt in previous Dead Risings, it looked too animated for me. It looked too unrealistic to the point where I was almost uninterested in it. I want to feel like I'm almost, not in real life, but I want the sense of like having dark blood because it's pouring out of their body. It's, it wouldn't be bright red, you know what I mean? And as now, this little clip in the back, I'm going to be walking around for a second, but then a mission will pop up and it'll tell me that a psycho mission, which is very, very helpful. It'll come up here in a second. But the reason I love that is because I would always go into battles thinking it's a survivor mission just to save a survivor in like Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 1. But this one lets you know that it's a psycho because I went into battles in Dead Rising 2 thinking it's just going to be grab a survivor, bring him back. And I would go completely unequipped, no weapons at all, just thinking it's going to be a survivor mission. And it's actually a psycho and then I go in there and I die. So I'm loving that this one actually lets you know if it's a psycho or not. And speaking of psychos, this is my first psycho boss that I fought in the game. You meet him very, very early. And what I love about this game too, another improvement that I'm just loving about this game, is that it's more engaging. It's not just your ordinary, hey, what's up, go save these survivors and come back and have a cutscene. It's like there's a lot of cutscenes to the point where it has its own storyline. And as you can see now, it has its own attribute system where it's kind of like it its own RPG like it has minor RPG elements which I love because when you have a free open world game the one thing you need is a leveling system and it does have a leveling system but in previous ones it would randomize it would be like increased strength increased range increased health and this one you actually get to choose what you want to rank up which I feel is very good because you can build your character any way you want with me personally I like to build my health inventory and then my melee and my agility and stuff opposed from like uh, my range and other things like that. So yeah, this is pretty much my first uh, impressions on this video. There's a few other things that I can think of that I really like, like uh, you get more time for your quest because in previous ones I would hate that, hey I get to choose either go save these guys or fail the game because I can't finish the case. I really hate that. I hate being rushed in video games, and I like how this one gives you more time. If you play in the nightmare mode, it gives you like rarely any time, so that one's more hectic, but in just a normal story mode, it seems to give you quite a lot of time to go do every side mission and still have enough time to do your quest, and that's what I love about it. It's just, it's not too rushing. I can actually kind of enjoy the Dead Rising experience more, like how you can see now just raping zombies with a bulldozer. You can't beat that. 
so overall, I think this one is the best Dead Rising that I've played so far. I can't judge it fully. I shouldn't have said that just because I still haven't played the game 100%. But overall, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I've played it for like seven hours straight now. It's just a lot of fun. So if you guys are hectic on this game, I would recommend this one. It's very fun. It's a good time if you like single players. Uh, there is a co-op mode, I believe, I think so, for online, which that's amazing, so you can play with your buddies. I haven't tried it out yet, but yeah, if you guys are hesitant on getting this game, I would recommend it. It is a very good game. I most likely will do a review in the future, but please let me know down below if you guys want to see more Dead Rising 3 gameplay. I was thinking about doing uh, funny moments montages or uh, just campaign walkthroughs, stuff like that, but co-op and stuff, have my friends so it's more engaging. But please let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and you guys have a great day. Be safe and take care. See ya. Chris